Hey everybody, Pastor Allen with you again. I'm glad that you have joined me. I want to talk about something that is in the news all the time now. Uh, it's the transgender issue. Should a transgender person be allowed to use the locker room, the bathroom um, that they feel most comfortable in? Should they be allowed to do that? We've had the Attorney General of the United States saying emphatically that they should that anybody that would think differently is obviously prejudiced and uh, bigoted. And uh, this is the Obama administration at its absolute worst. This is the absolute worst. This is why uh, independents like myself don't feel comfortable in any party. Here's the deal. We cannot create a situation where your 15-year-old child goes into the locker room at the YMCA, Planet Fitness, or wherever they go, swim, meet the locker room uh, uh, at a swimming pool, and showering next to them is a, is a person with a penis in your 15-year-old girl's shower room. Now, many transgenders um, don't go all the way with, with the process. As far as I know, as of this recording, Bruce Jenner still has a penis. We just have to be very direct here. Juice, Bruce Jenner still has a penis, and not only is he not going to get rid of it, now he's talking about becoming a man again. Because after he thought about it, he realized that um, he still obviously has uh, feelings for women, and that what he did and the way he did it, more the way he did it, caused his family uh, a lot of pain. And I'm no fan of the Kardashians. I think they're pretty shallow people. I, I don't know why they're famous, but they are. And that's, you know, I, I would feel the same way about some of the rap stars with the filthy, disgusting rap lyrics. And it's not rap that I'm against, it's what they're saying in those songs. So um, we have become, and we are becoming, so open-minded that our brain has leaked out. What about transvestites? There are many transvestites that when they dress up, you can't tell that it's a man. Uh, there are shows, uh, <laughs> La Casha Fall, you can't tell in some cases that this is a man. And, and, and women, when they go into a, a locker room, children, female children, male children, when they go into a locker room, they want privacy. It's a very personal time for them. They don't want a, 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 a locker room full of naked women and perhaps teenagers. They don't want someone who has male apparatus coming in and stripping before them and, and being able to view them. Now, men are different. You know, uh, we have uh, here in New York, we have the New York Renaissance uh, Festival. And um, every year I like to go. Now, I'm not pagan, and there are pagan overtones to. Uh, to the uh, Renaissance fairs and what have you, but I'm not there for that. I'm there to see some uh, talented people. Uh, there's a French mime that we, uh, that we really love when we go there. And so, uh, you know, I, I'm not going down uh, to the psychic booth area and participating. That's not for me because I don't believe in psychics. Uh, even if the power is real, the Bible tells us to avoid those kind of things. So, um, But uh, they have what they call the flushing privies. Uh, because most of the time at the Shire, uh, which is in Tuxedo, New York area, it's just uh, outhouses, which I don't, they don't, they look out of place, just like the ATM machine looks out of place at the Shire, the, the, the outhouses just don't look right, you know? But they have the flushing privies. And of course, the, the ladies' uh, line backs up way, way down uh, to, the, to the path where people walk, but the men, of course, are in and out. So it is not uncommon that when that line gets crazy, there are women that just start walking right past the men at the urinals and they go to, to the stalls. And, and nobody seems to mind, <laughs> but that's men, we're different. I think there are men, the men that actually enjoy that that's happening. But um, we need privacy for our teenagers. We have to put them first. So uh, when the Attorney General is making it sound like you're a bigot, if you have an issue, now transgender people, you know, they have rights too. And maybe we have to build separate facilities and things like that. I don't know what the issue is, but I, I think that we really have to be careful. We're just going further and further. You know, we go way back to Adam and Eve, and maybe you think it's a metaphorical story. Maybe you think the whole thing is fantasy. I don't know. But uh, we, we keep getting more evil. 
once man ate from the uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil his eyes were open and now there's a choice between good and evil being uh doing doing things god god's way doing things god's way or, or doing uh something that would be considered uh against God and we always choose those sinful uh, nasty things we're just getting sicker as a generation and we're becoming oh we're becoming so open-minded that we're beginning to to uh, make very stupid choices so I'm gonna get up now my producer Dandy Andy is there he's been doing such a good job come over to the gazebo a little bit love to sit in the gazebo on a beautiful day like this if, if not out in the sun uh, so God loves transgender people. God loves transgender people. It's a personal thing between someone who's having those kind of feelings and God. So I'm not condemning transgender people. But we have to think about the feelings. We have to think about the rights of our children who uh, deserve privacy in a locker room, deserve privacy in a bathroom. There have been no reported incidents, uh, sexual incidents, of transgender people in a restroom or in a gym. But that's not the point. That's not the point. The point is that our children, when they are in a locker room situation, uh, they deserve privacy. They deserve privacy. So you can't just say, oh, it's time now for us to evolve. Every time we evolve, we evolve further away from God. And that's what we're becoming. We're becoming a totally, totally godless, um, uh, generation and part of it is Christians like me that have sinned so much and made so many mistakes and I talked about poor representatives and in, in our video five uh, reasons that people feel Christians are stupid and crazy I have been a poor representative too many times so I understand all that I, I get that but we, we really have to think about our children before we start saying to uh, that a 15 year old girl has to shower next to someone uh, that has male parts. That is absolutely ridiculous. Pastor Allen 56 at yahoo.com, Pastor Allen 56 at gmail.com. I want to know what you think. I'm sure I'll get some negative feedback, and that's cool, but it has to be said. Big God bless you.